Light is incident on the cathode of a photoelectric cell connected to a battery and a sensitive ammeter as shown below. So we know that this is the photoelectric effect. If you take light and you shine it onto the surface of a metal, then electrons will be released and then they can flow around the circuit. So it says, what conclusive evidence about the nature of light is provided by the photoelectric effect? Well, the photoelectric effect tells us that light consists of a particle nature, because we know that if you have a metal over here, we know that the light, we know that these individual electrons get released when the light hits the surface of that metal. And so what scientists observed is that light doesn't only travel as a wave, like some theories tell us, but also as particles. Remember we said that each of these things from the light is a photon. So we can say it's got, it's the particle nature of light. Light has two natures, a wave nature and a particle nature. The photoelectric effect helps us to determine the particle nature. The cathode has a work function. Okay, remember the work function. I have explained this in detail in the previous, in, in lessons. So we should all know what work function is. It's the amount of energy that you need to remove an electron. Oh, they're asking us to define it here. It's the minimum energy needed to eject electrons from the surface of a metal. Okay, so moving on, it says light of frequency 5.96 times 10 to the 14. So that's the light itself, 5.96 times 10 to the 14 hertz, is shone onto the cathode. Calculate the maximum kinetic energy of an electron ejected from the cathode. So for this chapter, we've looked at all these different formulas, okay? So we know that the frequency of the light. So we could then use this formula to calculate the energy of the light and then put it into that formula over there. So we could just say um, E equals work function plus EK maximum and we could replace this with hf okay i've explained this in the lessons guys you must just have a look at that if you don't know this chapter too well and then uh work function plus ek so we can go use planck's constant now now this is just planck's constant that you get on the periodic not on the periodic table but on the formula sheet 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 then the frequency of the light is 5.96 times 10 to the 14, and that's equal to the work function, 3.42 times 10 to the negative 19 plus the EK. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go type all of this on the calculator, and then I'm gonna take this to the left. And we should end up with EK as 5.31, 5.31 times 10 to the negative 20, and kinetic energy is a type of uh, energy, so it's in joules. And so, okay, that one's done. Now it says that the ammeter, the ammeter registers a current of 0 0.012 amps, 0 0.012 amps. Calculate the minimum number of photons of light that strike the cathode in a 10 second period. Well, one of our formulas for current is current is equal to um, charge divided by time. So we could now take the current, which they've given us, and the amount of time, and we could work out how much charge is coming past, okay? So you would use the formula as I multiplied by T equals to charge. And so the current is 0 0.012, the time is 10 seconds. And so if we're to work this out, 
we get 0 0.12 uh, coulombs. Now we know that the charge that is coming past is actually electrons. So you could then use this formula to see how many electrons. So this is the charge which we've just calculated and this is the charge of one electron which is on our formula sheet and then this is the number of electrons. So we could say n equals to q over e and so the number of electrons will be 0 0.12 divided by. Now the charge of an electron is given to you on your formula sheet. It's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And that'll give us 7.5 times 10 to the 17 electrons. So it says how many photons of light do we need? Okay, now remember, in the light, there's little individual packets over there which are called photons. Now when one photon hits the surface, one electron gets released. So if this is how many electrons are released, then that is also how many photons we need. So 7.5 times 10 to the 17 photons. Then this last question says, the intensity of the light is increased. Ah. So when you change intensity, what it means is that there will be more photons, more photons, okay? So that means that there will be more electrons being released. So if you have more electrons being released, you would have more charge, and so the current would go up. So it says that, how will this change the effect the ammeter? Choose from increases, decreases, or remains the same. So we'll say increases, and then we can say a larger intensity means more photons available, more electrons will be released per unit time increased ammeter reading.